What's up buddies, Mega here, welcome back to another Minecraft video. This video will be a tutorial on uh, commands, just because I had no other idea for a video today. And so what I'm going to be showing you in this video is how to make a cool looking sink in Minecraft. So here we can see that when it is, when I turn it on, up, there's some particles that play, sound that plays, and then when you turn it off, it goes down the drain. Or supposedly it does. So this is a command thing, and then you can use this in your builds if you want. Um, so I think we should just go straight out here to build one. So what you're going to need is uh, a repeater, redstone dust, a cauldron, a lever and a block of your choice so whatever you want so i'm just using dark oak because why not and of course you can use a command block so this is not a survival friendly thing because it's too realistic for survival especially because you wouldn't really need a sink in survival minecraft anyway but anyway um you're gonna start by just plopping your cauldron down just so that you have an idea of where you're gonna do the commanding because you're going to want to make the, the command blocks target this block in this coordinate which I will show in a couple of seconds so then you're also going to want to put your lever down which will be the um, the faucet so when you turn it on then the water goes down so normally you would have something for the a knob for the faucet but this just saves time and this is easier and I think it looks fine so from there you're gonna want to take a redstone impulse from that block so that you have that good job and the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna have two different two separate lines you're gonna have the one line that's gonna be for when it is off which is this position and then you're gonna have another line which is this position now the way you do that is I actually forgot you do need a redstone torch um, that way this position will be activated only when it is off and then this line will be activated when it is on so from there you're gonna have um, let me just pull bring this line out and you can do this in many designs. This is not intended to be compact very much because I design it in many different ways depending on the building that I place it. Like in the bathroom, it's really small. But we're just gonna get off with this. So we, we're gonna put our first command block down and it's gonna be a slash set block command. Now you can do a block data command, but this the set block is just easier. Then what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to go to the cauldron, you're gonna press F3, and then get the coordinates. So in this case, um, let me clear my chat real quick. Our coordinates are negative, let me actually just speed time up by doing, oops, okay this 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 so tab space tab space tab space gives the coordinates and then you can just highlight that stuff and then copy it that just saves time normally if you don't know how to copy it uh you would just press shift and an arrow key on your coordinates and then that way you get them Okay, so now we have our coordinates, and we're going to put in cauldron. So for this line, we're actually going to be doing the on placement. So the first, the first one that we're going to do is we're going to have to put a bracket here, and we're going to put level 1. So right now, the cauldron is actually at level 0. So if you go here, you can see over here, it says level 0, but we're going to change it to level 1. So when you flick the lever, you can see that now there is water there. So that's our first step. Then um, you're going to want to duplicate this command block by doing 
control and middle click and you're gonna put it back on the second one and here you're gonna put level 2 okay and it depends how fast you want your sync to level to um, change levels I'm just making it uh, two ticks because it's pretty good so now when you start it it'll go up kinda like at that speed if you want it to go really slowly then sure give it four ticks but it, it doesn't look it, it's fine at two ticks in my opinion but then you're gonna do it again so you have your duplicate command block right here you're gonna put it down and this will be at level three so you should see now that you do it it has filled up the sink like that as you can see and now what you're gonna do is we're gonna start on the second line which is the one that triggers when the lever is flicked off so in this case you're going to um, you can just duplicate these command blocks and you don't even actually need the number three you just need number two number one and number zero and so we're gonna put them down in the opposite order of this one because this is going to be the animation of it um, emptying through the drain so this is our level two because it's already at level three we don't need to put another level three then we're gonna put we're gonna take the level one we're gonna put it over here make sure to oops make this uh, a repeater let's change this to level two and then you're gonna add another one which this one will be level zero okay so now if you see you should see when you turn it on your sink fills up and when you turn it off your sink empties so that's the basic one done but we're not just done yet because we're going to add sound effects and we are going to add particle a particle effect so that it can well so that it can look like something is actually flowing right now it's basic so now what you're going to do is you're going to extend this line, line however you want. I'm just going to bring it over here because it's easier to understand. And these are going to be constant uh, command blocks. So they're going to be on while the line is on. So you don't need to have a sequence because it's just a constant variable basically. So we're gonna you're going to take a regular command block and you're going to put it down. And we're going to do the particle command. So this is the harder one of them, of both of them. And I like to go for the particle of rain. And you're also going to want to change it to a, re a repeat command block and not an always active. Uh, so a repeat command block. And I don't know about this setting. I don't know what that does. But now you're going to do... You're going to take your coordinates from before, but this time you're going to make it one number up. Because we're not trying to put a particle on the cauldron, we're trying to put it on the lever. So it's going to, so, see, there it is. We're trying to put it right there. So now, as you can see, it's a pretty simple thing, and then you can put a bunch of those things around, which I'm not sure what they're about, but... It just does stuff. I'm not sure what the, the other settings are about, but you don't need that. And your second thing will be will be kind of using the same coordinates. This time we're going to do a place sound. And you're going to put bucket. Or no, not that. Um, item dot bucket dot fill. So that way it's it's just a water sound effect you could do it the bucket dot empty if you really want but the fill one i think works best and then the the water there's others that work better for others and we're gonna make it ambient because it doesn't really matter we're gonna have it play for everyone and we're gonna have it play in that one coordinate because that's where the sound is coming from so if we oh you also have to make it a repeat command block so that it keeps going while it's being powered 
So now if we click it, you can see that it does its stuff. Now I have noticed that I did make a little mistake. So in this case, this is actually powering that incorrectly or something. So we're going to, oh, I know why. It's because this is powering, it's not even connected to this. So don't, don't do what I just did. Make sure to have this connected to the, that command block. So we're gonna just have to do a little bit of this. And then we can just duplicate these two command blocks over here and here. Okay, so that should work. We should get the animation. Yep. And that is how you do a cauldron a sync in Minecraft with command blocks. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you are new and you like my content. Leave a comment. I reply to you guys now. See you guys later. Bye.